Hello guys. So, well, first of all, thanks for having us down to the set. This is like the best set that I ever saw. Now, the one thing you guys are doing is you're actually allowing fans to see what Jason does in his time off. Isn't that true? Kind of what he's doing and how he's getting around and all of that. Um, yes, we do show a glimpse of that. We thought that that was important because in some of the later films he's popping up all over the place and it feels very supernatural. We want to keep the movie real. So we created a little bit of mythology as to how he gets around and pops up. And how important was it for you guys to actually get the mask and the look at Jason right? Because I know that was a big deal for you guys and it's so simple and so perfect. Um, I would say virtually nothing was more important than that. I think that if you scrub the mask, you scrub the movie. So, um, a lot of time, the guy who did it, Scott Sauter, was the one who we trusted with this. He has done other work for us, he treated the leather face mask for us. And uh, we were all very adamant, including Scott, that it had to be perfect. So, it's a long time, so I think the final result is good. And when we see a poster with the studio cho chose for the poster, obviously, we feel like we made the right choice. Oh, I want to steal one of those posters, <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> they say that Andrew Form said it was okay. Oh, yes. Who did? Andrew Form said it was okay. Oh, really? I could just take one when I'm done? Yeah, Andrew Form said it was okay. Oh, oh great. That's to make that one. <laughs> so, now, you guys aren't going as dark as you did on Texas Chainsaw. You guys actually are bringing a little bit of humor into this one. Is that correct? To be very clear, it's, we are bringing in humor in terms of the kids yeah. and what they're doing. There's no happiness when he kills. That's as brutal as Texas Chainsaw. There's not necessarily any torture necessarily, but it's very brutal. And where the humor comes from is you have seven 21 year old kids drinking and smoking and having sex and dancing and having fun in this house with the party just broken up by Jason. Well, that's interesting. Wait, is it giving anything away to say how many kills are in the film? I don't know if that was supposed to be a secret or not. I don't know. There's 13 kills in the film. Okay. Now, some of these kills actually um, like play to what we've seen in the previous films, right? Did you guys kind of play on the mode to what we've seen in the film? I would say that some of the kills are reflective of what happened in the previous films and that we turned them we, we put our own spin on it. Okay, now, I thought I heard that you guys filmed some of the kills various different ways. Is that true? And, like, on the DVD, if you're going to be able to, like, pick which kill you want to see. And there's, there's two kills that uh, we've done that way. But how is that going to work when on the DVD comes out? Are you going to have a chance to interactively choose which kill they want to see? In the yeah, movie? I mean, they are telling us that that's the uh, way they're going on the DVD. I mean, we, we haven't even seen the film yet because we just finished shooting five weeks ago. But that's what the studio is saying, that we're going to have uh, something to interact with right now on the DVD. Now, a lot of the fans want to know, are you going to have a special, like, midnight show in that they're doing with a lot of films? I mean, this would be a really special one to have. Are you guys playing anything like that? We'd love to. Please come. <laughs> Honestly, we would love to. Yeah. It'd be great. It'd be a lot of fun. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you.